What's going on, man? What's up? Uh, welcome back to another video. This is episode two of Talks with Dairy Bit. And um, today I got, I had asked my Instagram, what was y'all crazy? What's y'all craziest opinions? So I got some responses from people on their craziest opinions and I was just going to be reading them and then I'm going to be reacting to them and giving my own opinion off their opinion. Obviously, I'm not going to be saying no names or nothing on who said who, because that's that's pretty federal and I'm not going federal. Yet. The first the first one I see says most skin product, most skincare products are an absolute scam. And I'm not going to lie. I agree with that one for for like the most part. I agree. I don't know. I feel like, yes, they work like skincare products. They work for sure. I feel like the way they work is. Like they give you a quick fix if you get what I'm saying. So like you apply the stuff and yeah, it makes it go away. But if you stop applying the skincare products, all that acne going to come right back. You get what I'm saying? But if you do like, you know, natural shit, like, like, you know, clean your face pretty good or um, use certain types of soaps and stuff. I feel like that works better than using like just skincare stuff because all skincare stuff does is like it makes you keep having to use the products like over and over and over. And it's like you get stuck in like a little, I don't want to say loop or like you get stuck in a little something because you keep spending money and all this time on skincare products and like your skin is never really better than if you just let it be, let you know, let nature run its course. That shit going to go away. Bumps not going to stay on your face forever. So I feel like, you know, you just got to you got to be OK with having bumps, like let them run their course. Like, so I, I agree with that one. All right. The next opinion say Arby's hit. I want you. Let me get real close to the mic. I want you to notice right now. If you eat Arby's, don't don't come around me. Don't speak to me. Don't don't even look my way. Like if you, if you eat Arby's, like you're disgusting as a person and you deserve less. Honestly, that's how I feel. I don't even want to spend too much time. Like, 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 why would you want to eat anywhere where their slogan is? We have the meats. I don't want to eat nowhere where they have nothing but meat. All right. Paul, like, I'm not even going to pause that because you didn't pause this. So that's crazy to me that you, you go somewhere, you go to a meat factory. Basically, you just go into a meat factory and enjoying dumb meat. What's up with that? That's not cool. Dude. That's not cool at all. Damn, I can't believe a nigga just said that. That Arby's hit. That's like saying, well, I know some people fuck with Burger King, so I'm not going to say Burger King don't hit because Burger King used to be gas. What's a good? There's not even a good. That's that's what I'm saying, bro. There's not even a good comparison for Arby's. You can't tell me one. I don't think you can name one comparison right now that's unpaired with Arby's. See how nobody says shit. All right. The next one that I see is a it says a part of me wouldn't mind a race war, but a part of me know hate is orchestrated. I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, because I feel like a lot of a lot of stuff between races is like highlighted a lot. A lot more of the bad stuff is highlighted a lot more than like everything else. So I know a majority of the stuff like you see is like a lot of propaganda just to keep the hate going. But how I feel about the the first part, like you wouldn't mind a race war. Honestly, I'm OK with violence. I feel like if two sides can't like if two sides, the only way that two sides could come together is like they fight it out and like whoever wins, like wins. If that's the only way that two sides can come together, then by all means, that just has to be the way that the sides can come together. But I feel like first, before that part, there's a lot of stuff that can be happening that can happen prior to all of the, the, the fighting beforehand. First, like, you know, you could talk for real, like both sides can be very open and sincere and talk. But, you know, if that don't work out, that shit guns blazing. Niggas go out fighting. Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm X, that shit, man. And then also, too, I feel like war. Don't get me wrong. War is not some shit that should happen. But I, I actually 
I enjoy war. Not not like I enjoy the strategy part of war. Like a, it's like chess. Like you have your army and you have to do what you have to do to stop this army from beating you. But it's more goes into war than just fighting from um because I was reading the book Art of War and there's so much that actually goes into that stuff. Like environment, like where you're fighting is such a big thing. Who you're fighting is such a big thing. Like what y'all are fighting with, like the difference between y'all two is such a big thing. Um, the difference between y'all, y'all soldiers and artillery is a big thing. There's so many things that go into war that's so cool to me. That's that's more than just fighting, you know. Um, this next one say men should have to prove their way out of jail from like, you know, being a kid and stuff. Honestly, how I feel about that, man, I feel like that's pretty stupid because I don't know why men would have to prove their way out because everybody's born innocent. Well, I know everybody, everybody's born innocent at the end of the day. Some people may be more susceptible, susceptible to certain things, but at the end of the day, everybody's born innocent. You know, I don't feel like that should have to happen. Maybe, you know, maybe if, you know, men are such a, if we're such a problem and stuff, maybe we just need a little more care from when we're young. Cause usually like boys, boys, it's always, you know, just let boys be boys. So maybe like, you know, y'all don't have to tend to younger boys the same way y'all tend to girls. Cause younger girls, I feel like younger girls do need a lot more than younger boys do, but maybe tend to them a little more, you know, watch them, make sure they do the right thing. Cause for the most part, like, you know, boys are tough. They're strong. They can get through yada, yada, yada. But you got to watch like boys too. Like you got to teach them. This is not like, don't do that. Like that's not cool or learn how to control this or learn how to do that. Because, because yeah, yeah, boys are born innocent, but we're also like destructive by nature. Like other, it's kind of like other male animals, like, like two bears, two bears in a forest. If two bears in a forest come across each other, majority of the time, they're going to start fighting. You get what I'm saying? Like boys, for example, I don't know what it is, but like, that's just a part of our nature. Like we want to fight, be destructive, destroy things. So like those type of tendencies, if you just pay attention to younger boys more, I think that would be better than, you know, boys growing up and like, they never learned how to handle that shit when they were young. Now it's like, oh, men are such bad people, but nah, if you just paid attention when we were young. This could have been avoided, if you get what I'm saying. This next opinion that I see says, I think the clouds are man-made. I agree with that 100%. And I think, I mean, I think by this point, I think by this point, if you still think that like the government does nothing, I don't know, you're, you're tweaking because you can see, you can see planes grow across the sky and leaving clouds behind them. You get what I'm saying? So like, I'm not going to say all fucking clouds are man-made because obviously not all clouds are man-made, but there are, there is for sure 100% some clouds that are put up there by us for whatever reason, whatever reason that may be. It may be, it may be like a good reason. Like they're saying for real, like I've I've seen that they try to put clouds in the air to kind of cool the earth down to stop the sun from hitting the earth so hot to slow down global warming. Okay. If they, if that's, if that's the reason they're putting clouds in the air, I can respect that because you know, you feel like you're trying to do what's best for humanity type of thing. Cool the earth down. Cool. Capiche, whatever. But then there's other things that's like, they're up in the clouds, like, and they're putting like chemicals in our clouds to kind of mess with our crops, our animals, our us, like little, just little particles in the air that's not really too good for us. That's like making us bad, like sick and all that stuff. I know some people don't really agree with those type of things, but I feel like even if you don't agree with it, you at least have to have the thought that that could be going on. I don't think you can really write anything out because anything is possible. At the end of the day, anything is possible. Like our world could be ran by Smurfs. And like, I'm like, it sounds crazy, but it could because anything is possible. Like we don't really know what's going on for real at the end of the day. 
We can hear what we want to hear. People can say what they want to say. But at the end of the day, we really don't know for real. We only know we only know what the inf- we only know about the information that's given to us. We don't know what information is left out. We don't know what information is fake. We don't know what information is true. At the end of the day, it's just that's the information we have. So that's what we have to go off of. It's like like textbooks, for example. Textbooks obviously aren't 100 percent true, because if you go talk, talk to indigenous people, a lot of shit that's in the textbook is is obviously not true or not how it happened, because history is always to make always made the victor look like the hero. Like whoever wins always looks like the hero because that's how history is going to make it because you can do that. So I feel like you just you can't you can't have one way of thinking. You can't think one dimensionally, you know, like maybe, yes, there are man made clouds and yes, they might be doing it for the good, but they also might be doing it for the bad. You just have to keep both sides in your head. Reptiles run the government. Um, I don't know. They might. You see that you see that type of stuff in like, you know, Rick and Morty, um, Simpsons. Um, I think they did it in a family guy. They might have might not. Um, they done did it in that show, uh, Inside Job. So I mean it's a theory. It's definitely a theory. But do I think that? Um, no, not really. But it would be cool if there was. Ah, this is this next opinion is something I can I can really get behind it. Like, and I mean really get behind. Pancakes are the worst breakfast item. I'm not gonna lie. I do like pancakes are bottom tier breakfast items. They might be because I think there's things that are worse than pancakes, but they are not far from being the worst thing that you can get at breakfast. Man, it's just like. It's nothing. It's nothing really good about a can pancake. Like you feel me? Like if you go get a stack of pancakes, for one, they take up your whole plate. This your whole plate with a disc, a floppy disc of fucking flour and and what pancake mix and flour and stuff. If you eat a pancake on its own, that shit tastes horrible. You can't eat a pancake on. When have you seen somebody grab a pancake? Right. Go smash them bitches. No syrup. Never. Because that's not something that can be like pancakes are something that have to be eaten with something else. You can't just make pancakes and enjoy pancakes. That bit is terrible. Like even waffle, like it don't matter what kind of pancakes you make either. You can make blueberry pancakes, strawberry pancakes. You can put all the type of stuff you want to put inside of a pancake. But after that blueberry flavor is gone or that strawberry, whatever you put after that's gone. It's like you're just left with a mouth full of bread. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Or like, um, I don't know, bro. It just don't make sense. Like, only thing, only thing pancakes are good for. I don't even know what they're good for. Honestly. Only thing that pancakes are good for if there's no waffles. Pancakes are a good waffle replacement, I guess. Like, if you don't got no waffles, shit, I guess I'll take pancakes. But like, if y'all don't got no syrup, that shit is grit. Even waffles are good, man. You can make waffles gas, man. Y'all ever had y'all ever had blueberry waffles from Waffle House? Man, those might be the best waffles I've ever had in my life. And I bet you didn't even know that you could get blueberry waffles from Waffle House. I didn't know that you could get blueberry waffles from Waffle House. But my homeboy, when I was playing, I was playing football up at South Carolina, and my homeboy, shout out, shout out to my homeboy, uh, Tavin Tavin Ward. He play at. USF right now. He he. One day we just went in that bit after I think it was like a game or practice or whenever it was. It was late at night and he was like, "Damn, I'm finna get some blueberry waffles." Nigga, what? Nigga got blueberry waffles? I was like, "Shit." I mean, if you gonna get them bitch, I'm gonna try them bit. So I got them bit. I tried them bit, and I'm not gonna lie. Like, I did not know that adding blueberry to things can make them that fucking good. Because blueberry is not that good on their own. They're kind of sour and shit. But putting them in a waffle, oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God, that shit is so gas. Or um, strawberries is cool. But uh, I was going to say, I know some people don't like hot fruit and they'd be like, oh, fruit shouldn't be hot. But man, you got to try, try some, try blueberry waffles and then come back and chat with me about if fruit should be hot or not.
This next one says Burger King is ass. 100%. Burger King is ass. Worst. Well, no, because Arby's is ass too. We, we already had somebody say Arby's is gas. Behind, I'd say my worst, I'll put Arby's at number one. I'll put Burger King at number two. I'm not going to lie. What's good about Burger King? They got solid burgers. I'm not going, I'm not going to put that against them. They got solid burgers, but burgers really hasn't been, Burger King hasn't really been good for real since they had like when they had chicken fries, all the different like little pies you could eat, all the different little ices and slushies. Like they used to have shit like fruity pebbles, slushies. That's or not um slushies, milkshakes and shit. That's when Burger King was gas. Like I will faithfully say when I was like when I was like middle school to maybe ninth grade, we used to go to this um this rec center to hoop. And right next to the rec center, was like literally right next to it was a Wendy's and a Burger King. So obviously, like, we'll probably get there. And I mean, this one when we're young and shit. So, you know, niggas is hooping all day at the rec center. I used to have my people drop, drop me off. Maybe like, I don't know. Let's just say it's Friday. It's Friday, right? School just ended. And I'm getting out of middle school. You know, you get out of middle school like, yeah, but you know, you get out of middle school like four, right? So let's say... I don't, I don't, got out of middle school. I don't went, nah, not even say I don't went home. I didn't went to, to my homeboy house. Now we're going, or I didn't went home real quick to grab my clothes and shit. Went back to my homeboy house or whatever. And now we going to the rec center, Jack. And we're at the rec center from like, let's just say five to when that big clothes. And that big clothes at like 10, 10, 30, 11. Almost, it just closed before 12. But we used to just be in that day hooping. Let's say, like, it's five. We got there. We done ran, like, five games or whatever. Or dumb games. And it's, like, let's say it's seven, eight now. Niggas getting hungry. So we walk into Wendy's or Burger King. And majority of the time, we were going to Wendy's. But the times that we went to Burger King, Burger King was so gas. Burger King was so fucking gas. Chicken fries are the best thing Burger King ever did. Um, this next one say Trump was a good president. Know too much about politics and everything. I don't know, like, cause I can't, I can't say everything that happened during his presidency and stuff like that. But I will say, I do feel like Trump was a pretty good president, and I feel like majority, majority of the things that would happen would be kind of like the media going against his ad. Cause I ain't gonna lie. The, his ad do be chatting. He, he do be chatting. And sometimes the shit he be chatting at can come across a certain time of way, type of way if you take it that way. And, and the media like emphasized the wrong way that you could take his messages majority of the time he said some. So it made him seem like he was such like a, like a bad person. But I say the reason that I like Donald Trump was you can say what you want about him and all that type of stuff. Like he's a bad person, yada yada this. But you can you cannot say that nigga didn't like care about America. Like literally, whatever you want to say about his ad, because you can say a lot about his ad, I ain't gonna lie. But you cannot say that nigga did not care about America and his people. Like the stuff he did may have come across to some people as like the wrong way to go about it and stuff like that. But America, he's the president of the United States of America. And I will say he definitely he definitely like was trying to make America better, just America. And I can respect that because you're the president of America. You're not the president of the world. It seemed like all our presidents before or like stuff they want to deal with. They want to be like president of the world. Like they want to deal with world issues. But like you're the president of America. It was American issues. Like, for example, like I don't see no reason for Joe Biden to be sending dumb money to Ukraine when we got dumb people in America that got no cheese and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like you, you can use that money that you sent to Ukraine knowing we already in debt to use it for something for American people who like suffering. Your people are suffering. You know, shout out to Ukraine and everything like that, you know, whatever. But those aren't our people. At the end of the day, those aren't American people. They're not our people. So it's only so much that we can do for them when we have our own problems. And it just seemed like Trump, 
cared a little bit more about just America than everything else. And then, and then on top of all that stuff, like he did come into to presidency at a, a crazy time. Like he came in prime COVID. And I'm not gonna lie, he handled COVID pretty well. Like he shut everything down, had people be in their house in quarantine, and he gave people money because people couldn't work. I'm not gonna lie, he handled that bit pretty good from, from my perspective and opinion. But I know everybody not gonna agree with that and everybody see things from different ways. But from my perspective, I think he was a pretty good president. But um, that's the that's the last one I'm gonna do. There was a bunch more, and shout out shout out to everybody who said some. I really appreciate that, man, because you know a lot of people don't be saying that, and I appreciate everybody who said some. It took the time out they day to. I appreciate everybody who said some and gave time out their day to help me with something, and I really appreciate everybody who gave a response and stuff like that. But that's the end of this one. If y'all enjoyed this video and y'all enjoyed this type of stuff, just let me know. You can hit me in my Instagram, my Instagram, Lil Dairy. You can hit me on Twitter, that shit, Dairy the Monster. It's all in the description and all that kind of stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, just, you know, just like the video. Let me know that you like it. And that really helps me with making more videos like this and stuff. So, um, like I said, that's the end of this one. And I hope y'all enjoy it. If y'all did, like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bells on. Y'all know these type of videos are going to be coming out every Friday and stuff. So, um, yeah, peace, love, and positivity. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. For sure. Just time off the boo. Yeah. I can see a thing. I'm walking around in the school. Tell them what free me. The time is easy. Better believe me. Believe it.